This custom room is updated. I am talking about Project Infinity X custom room, one of the most customizable, one of the most beautiful looking custom rooms. And it's been some time since I'm making videos on this custom room and we have a new update available for this one. This is version 2.9 right now while making this video. It is the latest version and having the latest June security patch. One of the features which is added with this new update is hide IME space. So which means you will see no space below the keyboard and that is as I always say one of the most one of my favorite feature from a long time and this is so needed so useful. Another thing is in this new version we have this extended swipe action gestures available in this one. For example, if you want to choose left lo long left swipe options or actions, you can say long right swipe action. So you can simply double or you can simply long swipe like this, like this kind of things. You can use it in case you, you if you want to use it. Not everyone use it, but in case you use it, you can. For example, if you swipe here, then you will see, for example, from the left side, from the right side, we have some actions available. So it depends upon how the things you want to do on a device, which are the things you want to enable, which are the things you do not want to enable. It's totally up to you. Move on to the quick settings options. You will see this Bluetooth related thing. Some of you actually love about these things, like love these things regarding Bluetooth tile. If you want to enable this dialog option, which simply means it will give you this pop-up, for example, like this. If you disable that, then it will simply turn on or turn off by clicking that Bluetooth icon. In some cases, it might be useful and for some of the users, it might not be. So it's totally up to you. One more thing, which is quite interesting. If you click on app info for any non-system app, I'm talking about a user app, basically, you will see this disable option. This is quite exciting because in most of the devices, even the stock Android or anywhere, you can simply uninstall the pre-install the user apps I'm talking about. But in this case, if you do not want to uninstall it, you want to disable that, you can do so. That's pretty exciting actually. Move on to some of the other customizations and features. Those were the things available with this new update, but Infinity X is one of the most customizable custom rooms. So it is having a lot of features. It's quite good. It's quite smooth. It is having circle to search. It is having some amazing things in the terms of customizations and many more things. So go and explore all of these things on a device in case you want to. If you move on to wallpapers and styles, you will see some icon pack related options, fonts and so on. Even the default launcher has a lot of options in the terms of configurations. The UI is good. You just notice the home screen, which is having the OnePlus style clock. Also this clear all button, the recent UI, many more things. Even the quick settings panel, this is just so good looking. You have the header images, you have the option for quick setting tiles, you have the option for data usage, that data usage panel, some options related to lock screen clocks, you can customize them even further. For example, you have this kind of lock screen available. As you can see, we have lock screen widget, some options related to lock screen clock customization. Simply choose custom clock styles and there are a lot of options available for you to configure. After applying any of these, you will see new changes every time. Depth wallpaper support is already added and including that some other options too. Some of the options are so good in this case. If you move on to theme packs, you will see options are similar like some other custom rooms. But one of the best things which I actually loved about this one is regarding the preview style. This is unfortunately not present in many of the custom rooms and I personally loved this preview UI because this is looking so good and this is a very new design and of course it's just user's preference. If you do not like it, you can simply skip this thing. But if you like it like me, this is just really so wonderful. Some quick settings options, status bar related tweaks, navigation related options like sidebar and so on. Many more things are there so go and explore in case you want to give it a try, you can. This is available officially and unofficially for many devices. In this case, right now with this new update, we still have some spoofing options available. But let me tell you one thing that spoofing options related play integrity have some issues. So you just have, do not have to use this thing. You can simply use some play integrity fix modules. And by the way, yes, play integrity fix at PIF module is officially no more available, but you can still try out some other modules and that might work for you. This is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.